Caribbean Focus TV viewers, this is Corey Renee, and I am here with the guest of honor for the opening ceremonies for Caribbean Heritage Month. We have our fourth place contestant and place winner, Miss <laughs> Jamaica Universe, Casey Fennell. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How is Atlanta treating you right now? I mean, Atlanta has been fantastic. It's only been one day, but it's been short and sweet. <laughs> and we are here and the Georgia Caribbean American Heritage Coalition, they planned a bunch of different events. How many of the events that they planned will you be attending? This is the only one I can come to, unfortunately, because with my schedule, I have other things to attend. But I will be there in spirit because this is such a fantastic thing that they're doing, bringing the Caribbean community together and just making everybody unified. It's amazing. Okay, thank you. Now tell us a little bit about yourself. We see that you are Miss Universe Jamaica. So tell us about your country and what it was like for you growing up in Jamaica. I mean, I had, you know, the best childhood and before technology and everything took over, I was just that rough little girl. I'm the only girl. My dad's the only girl. So, I, I mean, I was a rough, tough girl. I wasn't the regular, soft, delicate my mom wanted me to be. She used to dress me up in the best of clothes. I'd leave with my father, go to the garage, come back filled with oil from head to toe. But, I mean, I had a fantastic childhood and I owe it all to my parents for allowing us to have the freedom to do so. Oh, that's nice to hear. Now, what about any other countries or islands that you've been to in the Caribbean? Where else have you been? Well, because of Miss Universe Jamaica and my placement in the Miss Universe competition, I've gotten actually a lot of opportunities because of the actual pageant. So I was able to go to Barbados, Puerto Rico, Curacao, Cayman Islands, Trinidad and Tobago. I mean, the list goes on. I mean, I'm, it's fantastic. And this is my first time actually venturing out to the Caribbean, the first time I've gotten the opportunity to do so. Oh, wow. So this is your first time here in the United States? No, no, because the competition was in yeah. Ohio. But is this your first time in Georgia? Actually, yes. Usually I only connect here, but I'm actually stepping outside of the airport for the first time. Oh. <laughs> That's nice, that's nice. Now, how, how did you enjoy today's opening, opening ceremonies with the dancers and I saw you come in with the flags, all the Caribbean flags, how did you enjoy that? It's a fantastic experience. I mean, we're just showcasing each and everyone's culture and I think that's most important. Each speaker goes up it's from a different Caribbean country and they're showing you know, what they love about their place and their own uniqueness from their own country. Right, very good. So on behalf of the Georgia Caribbean American Heritage Coalition, we would definitely like to thank you so very much for coming and for giving us some of your time and showing your pretty face and your smile. And I saw you interacting with the kids. The kids loved you. I saw you hugging them. So we want to thank you very much for coming and we wish you so much success in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.